Dao De Jing. Ten. Can you coax your mind from its wandering and keep to the original oneness? Can you let your body become supple as a newborn child's? Can you cleanse your inner vision until you see nothing but the light? Can you love people and lead them without imposing your will? Can you deal with the most vital matters by letting events take their course? Can you step back from your own mind and thus understand all things? Giving birth and nourishing, having without possessing, acting with no expectations, leading and not trying to control. This is the supreme virtue. Dao De Jing, 10. <clears throat> Encouragement along the way. I hope everything's going well with you friend, whoever's listening right now, um, fellow seeker, for sure, if you're delving into the Tao, you are seeking some major truth, you are looking, you are searching, I know I was, and I was, in a similar fashion, in a way I was stricken when I first read the book of Ecclesiastes in the Bible, I was uh, struck in another way to my very core when I read the Tao, when I heard the Tao. <clears throat> Let's jump right in. Can you coax your mind from its wandering and keep to the original oneness? Can you let your body become supple as a newborn child's? Man, how many of us have bodies that are stressed out? How many of us have bodies that are tense? That are overweight, that are just carrying around all this extra stuff? How many of us are emotionally heavy laden and burdened? And that's causing us to tense. How, mu how many of us have high blood pressure or something like that? The Tao is about relaxation. You know, it's like, it's deep breath in, full de deep breath in, and then uh, full deep breath out. It's, it's supple as a newborn child's. Question to ask yourself, are you like that? Another, is it even possible to become like that? I dare say yes. It is possible to experience. Can you cleanse your inner vision until you see nothing but the light? Hmm. Darkness within darkness, said the first Tao. The gateway to all understanding. Are you guys meditating yet? Are you, are you encouraged to meditate? Ah. <sighs> To sit still and breathe in and breathe out. Just breathe deeply. To close your eyes and allow your mind to be free. Mm -hmm. Can you love people and lead them without imposing your will? How big is that? Are you trying to impose your will on anybody right now? Perhaps you could chiggity check yourself before you riggedy wreck yourself. <laughs> What are you even doing trying to make this person do something? Why are you trying to control another person? Why are you tr telling someone they have to do something? What is going on? Who, Whew, you know, do you want people telling you what to do? Why not extend the grace of not telling others what to do? 
Are you able, can you love people and lead them without imposing your will? How about showing them the better way? There is a better way. Can you deal with the most vital matters by letting events take their course? See, this is like, mm, way woo way, and this is so in huge to the Tao. It's like, can you deal with the most vital matters by letting events take their course? This is a no stress life. This is a zero stress life. This is not trying to control. This is staying at the center and being unmoved and returning to source. This is way, woo, way, doing, not doing. Not being able to tell the dancer from the dance. Can you step back from your own mind and thus understand all things? Yeah, man. Darkness within darkness, the gateway to all understanding. Meditation. Quietly sitting in stillness. God says, uh, be still and I will fight your battles for you. <laughs> so. It would behoove us to step back from our own minds. Perhaps we would understand all things as the Tao says. Giving birth and nourishing. Having without possessing, acting with no expectations, leading, and not trying to control. The supreme virtue. It might as well be saying, way woo way, way woo way, way woo way, way woo way. The supreme virtue. <laughs> but instead it says, giving birth and nourishing, a.k.a. Wei Wu Wei, having without possessing, Wei Wu Wei, acting with no expectations, Wei Wu Wei, doing, not doing, leading and not trying to control, Wei Wu Wei, doing, not doing, the supreme virtue. This is the supreme virtue. I don't know about you, but that sounds, you know, rather important, I, I would uh, imagine, if it's the supreme virtue. Are you implementing the Tao into your daily um, experiential, experiential life? Are you integrating Wei Wu Wei into your experience and daily second by second, moment by moment life? How about moments of it? What are the synchronicities like? Are they happening? Let me know in the comments. I would be interested to know if the synchronicities are happening. Because they do happen. Because you were at one with the Tao. The Master leads by letting all things come and go. Leading and not trying to control, acting with no expectation, having without possessing, giving birth and nourishing. You know, I said this the, the past couple times. Um, this is in the book of uh, 3rd John, chapter 1, verse 3, I think. And it says, uh, Greetings, my brethren grace to you and all the saints and stuff like that. And then it goes, uh, I pray that it is going well with you. And I pray that you are walking with God. And, and I pray that you continue to, to go well with you and that you continue to walk even greater in the Lord. It makes me think about magnifying him, you know, greater on my drive Last night I was driving, the roads were full and then empty and full and then empty and, you know, in a big city. <laughs> and 
interesting life in the city versus interesting versus the uh, life in a small town. I guess that's kind of way woo way, big city and then micro macro. But wherever you may be, in a big city or a small town, we can all benefit from the Tao. It can help us to relax. It helped me relax in life. To uh, it what and, and again, it's not the source of my relaxation. Jesus at my center is the source of my relaxation. But it, but these Zen Buddhists, they claim that they got there without Jesus. I suppose they just got there on their own strength, got there on their own power. They were able to experience the peace that transcends all human understanding, which Philippians four says. But I really don't know if they were or not. I do know that if they did not have accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior um, and salvation was not theirs then the Bible says where their eternity will be anyway not to end on such a morose note but the Tao does get one thinking eternal kind of thoughts the Bible you know extols the reader to Keep your mind not on earthly things, but on eternal things. Um, so that's 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 what the Bible extols. So I think it's worth thinking about. Anyway, I might be using that verse as a sign off. I hope you like it, and uh, I'll talk to you on the next one.